everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Awakening. Last we left off, we are at the mother's little home. Dead dragon here. Looks like I killed it. Gonna get to search it, or is this it? Okay. Really hope I'm able to finish it in this video. I knew it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Flesh pod.
sure the unyielding. I was afraid of this, I'm gonna have to look for it. I have to check everything for crystals. Anyway, that's enough for this one. I think. And I'm off. Hey! Be some sort of teleporty doodad. This will be. Is everything dead down here? Ah, oh. I suppose you would be why. And so we meet again. Yes. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain myself. Fate, however, intervened. So explain yourself now. I restrained you, only to prevent the misunderstanding that occurred with the rest of your water. Misunderstanding? <laughs> Is that what you call it? I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Warden's help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. What for? My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Mm. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. Mm. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. Hmm. How would you free the Dark Spawn? In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind to transform. Amazing. Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. See, you take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. I like my blood where it is, in my veins. Some of the new darkspawn seem intelligent, others are insane. Once they are freed, 
The Darkspawn think for themselves. They speak. They act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed, and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the Mother alone, and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. This reeks of stupid. The last thing we need is more Darkspawn thinking for themselves. Darkspawn or no, he has a good point. Do we really want to keep killing each other forever? Help me kill the Mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. Perhaps they don't want to be free. And how would they know when the choice has been deprived of them? Without choice, there is only one path before them, and that leads to the Blight. I believe there is another way. How did you become free? I was born as I am, an outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Why do some of your kind become Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. See? You have an ally. What if he's wrong? What if this doesn't stop the Blight, but makes something worse? No! No! This is a monster! I can't let you do this! Do you want to stop the lights once and for all? I do, but... Uh, I hope you know what you're doing. Yes, yeah, so do I. Thank you, Commander. The Mother lies ahead, Warden. I cannot approach her physically. Her children protect her from my power. But when you reach her... I will do whatever I can to help you. You have my promise. Ouch. You know, not surprised, I... Still. Yes. Obviously, you can fight him, kill him. Demise. It sounded like a self destruct maneuver. Can't say I like ow. Can't say I like the sound of that. You're not letting it burn me. Oh, there it is.
I search the ogre, please? Thank you. Oh. Anybody have a crystal? Anybody at all? Yes. All oh, right. Guess not.
time for this. If you gather from the music that this is supposed to be spooky and disturbing. of the father. Oh, and the father, he is but a shadow. Oh, how my children protect me. How they love me. I have told you many times, mother. I am not the father. I am simply the architect. It does not change what you are. You took away that beautiful music. Left us with nothing. It was a mistake to free you. It has left you with madness. I am truly sorry. Ah, but perhaps the Warden would like to hear how it was that the Father began the Blight. You want the source of the Archdemon? The one who brought all our kind to the surface? Here he is! I'm not getting any sort of denial. You should never have trusted any Darkspawn. Ah, there it is then. Unfortunate. I did find the old god, Athemiel. But I did not wish another blight. I attempted my joining ritual. My hope was that this would free all Darkspawn. Unravel the curse from its source. Alas, I was unlucky. However you feel about what I have done, the mother is mad. She cannot be allowed to... Be gone, Shadow! Any more than you already have. And now... Hero is alone. I count at least three others with me. Oh, the mother knows your ways. You will not let her be. No, not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. <laughs> What are you doing? Back the feck up.
fucking hell. to the arch demon, you bitch. Have that back. I really like that dagger. Take it, take it back. It was a really good dagger. You're just gonna... The death of the mother... The remaining darkspawn forces scattered and fled back to the deep roads. The raids on Anne-Marie came to an abrupt end. The architect apparently kept his word, gathering his remaining disciples to follow the rest of their kind back underground. Those Grey Wardens and other nations were appalled to hear the Architect's continued existence, but were unable to track him down despite years of effort. Some within the Order have claimed the Architect's survival guarantees another blight, and yet the Deep Roads have been... lately have been quieter than any can recall. Most have re resignedly decided it is now in the Maker's hands. Word of the Grey Warden's heroic salvation of Amorethine spread like wildfire. From the magnitude of the losses that Vigil's Keep came to light, Sympathy drove generous donations from all over Ferelden into the regioner's coffers, and Rizin was restored to her former glory within a year. Vigil's Keep in five. Because of the warden's support for law and order in Amorethine, Constable Adian and his men were able to dis distribute the smuggler's goods to the battered survivors in the grueling days that followed the Darkspawn's defeat. The Darkspawn messenger set free after joining the wardens in the Battle of Amorethine struck out on his own. The city soon buzzed with stories of a cloaked but lisping figure who tra aided travelers in danger. At the same time, reports of isolated cases of darkspawn disease emerged. No one connected the two. Although the war devastated many farms in the Arling, all agreed the loss would have been far greater without the soldiers for protection. The farm holders developed a certain reverence, reverence for the Warden Commander, as well as an ongoing reliance on the Grey Wardens for order and protection. Vigil's Keep stood alone against a horde of Darkspawn. The Mother's forces outnumbered the Vigil's defenders many times over. But the sturdy dwarven walls provided, proved impervious to any boulder an ogre could throw. Vigil's soldiers, clad in silverite, each felled a dozen Darkspawn before they fell. The vigil held one night, then two, then a week. Eventually, the attacking horde broke upon her walls. 
The keep developed an almost mystical reputation, the few survivors immortalized in song and legend. Peace allowed the wardens to replenish their numbers. Soon Vigil's keep became for a capable army with wardens at its core. The ranks emerged new heroes to challenge new threats to the Amorethrian and all of Ferelden. Though taxes and levies, the vigil through, through taxes and levies, the vigil was rebuilt. Years later, Fuldrick Gavik stood on the battlements to pronounce that these defenses were acceptable. He would never speak more highly of human engineering. Dark whispers of conspiracies against the wardens fell silent after a rash of accidents and disappearances culminated in the apparent suicide of Ban Esmeral. The nobles of Emerythine remained dutiful. Some even suggested they were cowed into submission. Among the many legends that the Vigil spawned was one of the great heroes of the next age, a sheep herder turned soldier by the name of Sir Alec the Valiant, who eventually founded an order of knights that lasted a thousand years. I remember him. Sir Alec was a sheep herder that um, stole some grain and was supposed to be sentenced to death for stealing from the crown. I instead told him to join the army instead. Commander's blade, Vigilance, crafted from the bones of an ancient dragon, was boldly stolen by Antivian crows. The blade changed hand many times thereafter, with some master swordsmen pursuing the weapon their entire lives. Some claim that this legendary blade had a life of its own and that its power is steadily growing. Worker Thank further refined his lyrium sand explosives, but left the warden's employ after Quinari mercenaries tried to assassinate him. Although the dwarven bombardier took his secrets with him, the learned say he left clues for others to follow in his footsteps. Vigil soldiers wearing the distinctive silverite armor that Master Wade crafted became known as the Silver Order. Under the tutelage of the wardens, the Silver Order developed one of Ferelden's most revered military forces, a lasting memory of the Vigil's famous commander. Valiant Eye and the Architect gone from the region, the Pilgrim's Path began to set, see traffic again. The massacre of the militia men and the merchants, however, led to hostiles between the neighboring human settlements and any Dalish clans that passed by. One human villager soon kidnapped and murdered a Dalish child. The clans reacted by giving the Winding Woods a wide berth. Both sides knew that at some point the elves would return for revenge. A few years after Carl. Call Haral was emptied of Darkspawn, Ozamar began to send expeditions to recover the knowledge of smithing that had been lost within the thigh. Eventually, House Helmai decided that Call Haral was too important to be abandoned. At a tremendous cost of dwarven lies, they cleared the tunnels leading to Call Haral with all Darkspawn, making the road between Ozamar and the fortress safe again. Call Haral was reclaimed for Ozamar once and for all. As promised, Fuldrick and Morning presented Ozamar Shaparite with the stone marker that told of how Kalharal's castles had taken up arms against the Darkspawn. The commander of the Grey was invited to Ozamar as a guest of honor at a feast of commemorating the defenders of Kalharal. The shuffle read the names of the castles off the marker, then proceeded presided over a ceremony to return them to the stone as befitting as befitted warriors of their stature. In time, the Arling began to forget the tales of apparitions in the Black Marsh, and ever so slowly, settlers drifted into the region. Scholars said the veil was still thin, and thus the area was still dangerous, but the people only cared that they were no longer frightened whispers in the shadows. The village was slowly rebuilt. Twice the Baroness's mansion was rebuilt and occupied, once by a wealthy merchant and another time by an Orlesian mage. Both died mysteriously. Afterwards, the mission mansion was torn down completely and the site left untouched. Enders remained with the Grey Wardens a few years longer, training the Order's next generation of mages, but when the Circle Tower called on him to deliver a lecture on the nature of the Architect, much of the Templar dismay, Enders told the commander of the Grey that his time with the Wardens was over. Yet, not two months later, Enders returned to the Order. Even ever after, the Wardens were his home and his lasting companions. When the walls of Vigil's Keep were breached, the surviving defenders watched in horror as a section of stone collapsed upon Valena. When the rubble was cleared, however, there was no body. Valena was just gone. Over the years, Nathan dedicated himself to the Order and cleared the blemishes on his family name. After saving Terran Fergus Coslin from a bandit attack, a portion of Amorethine was returned to the Howls. And Nathaniel passed the holding to Delilah's son, and when a new castle was eventually built, a statue of Nathaniel was 
erected in its courtyard. Justice fought valiantly at the Battle of Vigil's Keep, but before the victory horn sounded, a darkspawn sword removed Kristoff's head. It was, of course, unclear whether the spirit of justice perished or simply departed. At the very least, Kristoff's wife, Aura, was able to finally claim her husband's ashes. Although Sigrid seemed intent on leaving for her calling, departing for the deep roads to finish what she started in Kyle, Har Kyle Haral, the Warden Commander had an actor finding important and absolutely urgent things to occupy the dwarf. And so, Sigrun delayed her long walk into the darkness for several decades, even though she never stopped cracking jokes about needing to throw herself at death. At Vigil's Keep, Ogren rallied a last-minute defense of the gate, taking on two ogres simultaneously to allow others time to regain the courtyard. He eventually passed out from blood loss, when he woke weeks later, nobody was surprised, and he discovered he had been credited as a hero. Ogren continued to regale young warden recruits with tales of his prowess in both battle and bed. His drinking games prompted at least one recruit to declare that she'd rather re-attempt the joining than lift another mug. The warden commander's urging, Ogren took a more active role in his child's life. He visited Felsi often, and wrote letters which the warden commander graciously proofread nearly every week. As for the savior of Ferelden, she did not remain as commander for, of the, for the grave for long. The darkspawn were no longer a real concern, the blight well and truly over. It's time for her to move on. Some claim the commander reunited with the red-haired bard known as Lilian and they adventured together still. The pair were spotted together in Denerim a year, a year after the Blight's end. No matter the truth, the commander never did return to Vigil's Keep. Well, okay then, let's do it again. And I am the Blues 32. This is Dragon Age Awakening. This was Dragon Age Awakening. And the Warden Commander's adventures are not quite over. DTFN. Ta-ta for now.